Hey guys, it is Clay at CPAP My Way, CPAPMyWay.com. Hopefully by now you've seen our new uh, AirFit F40 intro and review video. If you haven't, I will put a link at the end here so you can take a look at that. Um, also, I'm going to put a link to our original F30 setup and review video as well. This video where I'm going to be comparing the F40 to the previous F30 model so that you can understand the upgrades and how it may or may not fit you better. It's not going to be built to be a detailed video of either one. So we're just going to be going over the highlights of each. I'm going to go over a few key points. Those are going to be the seals, the difference in the seals, the, uh, the difference in how they fit, the differences in the, uh, the head gears between the two, how the exhalation is going to differ in the attachments there, how the different tube connections line up and how that will uh, affect not only how the tube connects, but how you may move around in bed. The differences in the mask frame, which is one of the more dramatic things I think that can make a big difference. And then the overall ease of use on the, uh, on the two different models here. If you enjoy all this content, we really appreciate that thumbs up. We do put in some extra effort here to try to keep you guys informed as to what's out there and how it might could fit your life. So uh, if you enjoy the content, subscribe, comment with any experience, especially if you are a person that's moving from the F30 to the F40, we would love, love, love to hear your feedback. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so I am going to start with the F30. Chances are you've heard about the F30. It's been around for quite some time. It's been a very popular mask and it has a lot of really cool features. It uh, was the original minimal contact or hybrid style mask from ResMed. And um, it's been a great mask over the years. Obviously the F40 would represent the newest version of that, but new doesn't always mean that it's gonna be for you. So um, I'm gonna go over a couple of key features about this mask and then kind of compare it to uh, those key features on the new F40. So first off, I wanna start with the seal. Um, well, before I even get to the seal, I, I think it's imperative to look at the, uh, I'm gonna take them off the head. So I just wanna kinda give you an idea of how they both line up as far as um, how far they stick out, right? That's a big part of sleeping in, uh, on your side, you know, how far you can turn before your mask hits the pillow. Um, the new F40 is much shallower and, and a lot of that is due to the cushion. So um, as I'm taking it off here, I just want to point that off, point that out to you. <clears throat> so on the F30, the cushion snaps in and out of the frame here. So it uh, is a hard plastic cushion and a hard plastic frame. They lock together, right? And you got to pop them out when they're brand new. Sometimes they're a little bit difficult to get in and out, but uh, it's not a hugely difficult thing. It is rigid though, right? So it's a very firm cushion and uh, it's backed up by that uh, hard plastic piece there. Obviously when it comes to fitting this mask, it is, um, it's going to be very similar between the F30 and the F40. There's going to be a couple of features that I want to point out when I get to the frame that makes it a little bit different, but it's both designed to fit under the nose and over the mouth, just like that, right? And so when you fit it over the, nose, over the mouth, one at a time, you bring your magnets around and lock them out. Okay, I'll show you in a little more detail when I try them both on at the end. The headgear on the F30 has five points of adjustment. So you've got, um, when you're on a head here, you've got the four points, on, or the, uh, the four points, so two on each side, one at the top, one at the bottom. All points connect directly into the frame of the F30 here, close to the cushion. That's something I wanna point out specifically on the F40 later. And then additionally, you've got this top adjustment. This F30 was only one size headgear, but it did have the top adjustment, which allowed you to, um, to help if you had a, a smaller or a larger head, you could adjust it uh, a little bit on the top there. The other thing I wanted to point out is the exhalation port on the F30 is built into the elbow here, right? So the elbow that snaps in and out, which is a really, really nice quick attach elbow, has the uh, diffuser right there. It was very quiet and uh, produced very, very little draft. They did a good job with that. But I do want to point out that it's connected into the elbow portion of this mask. And then obviously while we're there, you're going to look at this. We've got the tube connection, which is on the, uh, the swivel and uh, oscillating elbow right there. So the mask allows your tube to connect, but it's right at the mask itself. So your tube is going to connect right onto the front of the mask here. As I talked about earlier, the frame of this uh, F30 is a hard plastic frame and your, um, your uh, 
headgear is attaching directly into the frame right beside the cushion here. And then as far as ease of use, it is a pretty easily, uh, easily uh, assembled or disassembled and reassembled mask for maintenance. Um, it's, it's got the nice little quick attach magnets. The quick attach elbow makes it really simple there for maintenance. And the cushion pops in and out um, pretty easily there. It can get a little tough for people with dexterity issues, but um, it's not horrific if you're pulling it kind of in the right way. You do have to be careful when you're pulling it so you don't separate the, the silicone from the hard plastic portion. Every now and then somebody will tear that trying to pull it out. All right, so now let's look at the new F40 here. You can definitely notice right off the bat, it's got a, a lot uh, lower profile on the front here. And uh, this is an obvious change of pace, but there's some other things I really want to uh, impart to you about this mask that you should consider before um, you make the change. All right, so let's take this off and we'll look at a couple of those features here in detail. The first thing I wanna point out to you is the cushion, right? So on that F30, we know it was a hard plastic cushion. On this particular version, the F40, it is a very soft and flexible cushion, right? So the only hard plastic is this ring in the middle, which I'll describe a little more detail here in a second, but it is extremely soft and extremely flexible. So that is a nice change of pace for people that are going to need a little more uh, maneuverability on the cushion. Well, I've got the cushion out. I wanna show you how simple it is to put it back in. You got these little notches here. I forget what ResMed calls those little things, but tab, notch, pop in thingy. <laughs> All they do is they go into this little hole right here and you just push them in from the back there and it is super simple. There's no way you can put it in incorrectly and then you do the same thing on the other side. So there's a lot less chance of you lining it up incorrectly and trying to shove it in the wrong way. You literally just push those two little tabs through and it is back where it needs to be. And then a very similar quick connect just snaps right onto the front there real, uh, real easily. So as far as the cushion itself, and the way it attaches, it is a pretty large departure from the F30. As I mentioned earlier, it fits very similar to the F30, right? So um, you just have to put it under your nose, over the back of your head, right? Do a little more in detail. Under the nose, over the back of the head. And then one at a time, you pull those magnets underneath and attach them the exact same way. Just like that, and then tighten, of course. Top and then bottom. The other thing that you really should notice right off the rip here is the headgear, right? Number one, it attaches to the frame differently, which I'm gonna discuss a little bit more, but it does no, not have a top of the headgear adjustment anymore, right? Put that back together so you can kind of see it a little bit better. So the, um, the top of the headgear adjustment is gone. Now this mask is available, or the headgear for this mask is available in small, standard, like this one here, and large. The uh, small has a red backing, so it's very obvious. The large has a, I think a darker gray or black backing there. And uh, obviously you can see the standard is a blue. That's gonna give a little bit more custom fit, especially for people with smaller smaller heads. I've got kind of a small pointy head. Uh, not quite a, uh, small enough for a small headgear, but for especially smaller ladies, a small headgear is gonna be a nice uh, addition to this, this style of mask for you. It's also super soft and flexible. I kind of compare it to an old t-shirt here. I think they have a term for it. I'll put it on the screen if I can find what they call this style headgear or whatever they branded it as. But it, it is a very soft and flexible headgear. It looks like it's uh, got pressed Velcro. It's gonna be built to last for sure. The next change up is the exhalation. <clears throat> the exhalation ring is actually built into the cushion of this mask, right? So you saw me just rip it out of there. It comes in and out really, really easily, but it's a part of the cushion basically now. Um, for cleaning purposes, that's how you'll take it in and out. And it is very easy to take or put back into place right into that little groove there. It just got these little grooves that run around. But that is a difference between this uh, mask and the F30. The F30's elbow was, it's basically part of the frame, uh, the exhalation ring on the old one, but it was built into the elbow of the connector there. Now it's built into the cushion. Another big change up is the extension tubing here, right? This tubing is built to give you a lot more stretch and give as you move side to side in bed. It rotates really, really easily, gives a good bit of stretch, a lot less tube drag than the, uh, than the F30 model. All right, and then the mask frame here, I wanna point out to you. On the F30, you'll notice that um, on the frame, the headgear attaches right there at the nose, right? And it runs up kind of close to the eyes. 
that's been a complaint. I mean, you can see on this uh, this head here how close this headgear is to the eyes, right? We've had some people say that that has caused some irritation. Now on the F40, we've got these wings that are part of the frame that get the uh, the headgear a lot further, a lot wider on your face, right? So a little further away from the eyes. I'm gonna put it on this head and let you see how they uh, how that stacks up here. All right, so on a side by side, and you can see where the headgear lines up close in proximity to the eyes there. And then on the new one here, you can see that it, it pulls it a lot further out to the side and up, right? It's gonna be a pretty good ways out of your way because of the way it attaches to the frame now. All right, and then as far as the overall ease of uh, maintenance and taking it apart, it is just as simple, if not simpler, right? So your quick attach is no longer just an elbow, it's a, it's a long tube there. And then as far as taking your cushion out, I mean, it is just rip it out of there. There's no real wrong way to do it. The frame is flexible, the cushion's flexible, nothing to break, and you can't do it the wrong way putting it back together. Same mask uh, magnet or headgear magnet attachments. So um, those are really simple on and off. There is nothing to screw up on this one. It's uh, very user friendly, especially if you've got some dexterity issues. Um, it's going to be one that you can work through pretty easily on your own. All right, before I give you my thoughts on the rundown of these two masks, I'm gonna try them on real quick and just let you hear both of them running and see what they look like on my face. Super quiet, no exhalation, draft, or noise really at all. I'm sure you can hear the nothing on that video. All right, now let's do the F30. Also super quiet and no draft at all. So very comparable as far as noise and draft there. But you can see a difference on my face. Hopefully as I turn there is the, the low profile of the F40 and, um, and how the headgear kind of sat on my face. All right, so overall, you know, to just give you the rundown as to whether or not I'd recommend it for you and what my thoughts are, I do see this one as a genuine upgrade. We'll find out in the comments below what you guys think over time, hopefully. But all of these features that I went over to me are an improvement on the F30. So if you have tried the F30 and failed, I would say this is still worth a shot um, to see if it would work for you because it is a pretty large departure from that. And there were some shortcomings here, especially the fact that this didn't have a large. This one now has a small wide, a medium, and a large uh, size cushion. And in addition to the small, the standard, and the large headgear. So it's gonna fit a larger variety of people. Also, if you're currently on the F30 and happy, you know my old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But this one has the similarities to the F30 that were really nice in addition to some upgrades. So I kind of think in this scenario, it's probably worth a shot to see if you could improve your sleep and comfort with the upgrade to the F40. Also keep in mind if you're doing that with us, and I think with most insurance companies, we have a very simple 30 day guarantee policy. You know, if you order this, you don't like it, you just call us up after you don't like it and we'll send you the F30 or whatever else you're using. We don't care. Um, it's, a, um, it's a guarantee for 30 days and we'll exchange it for free. So I think it's worth the upgrade. I really like what ResMed's done with this. The F30 wasn't one of my favorite masks. Uh, for a few reasons, and you can watch the review on both of these to, to see what I thought of them in detail. But this F40 is an upgrade, and I think some of the things that were a shortcoming there are certainly going to be improvements on this mask that are going to make it worth a try for sure. So I appreciate you watching. Hit us with the thumbs up. We really appreciate that. If you enjoyed the content, subscribe, comment with any information that you might could share with the other users about these two masks and your experience. Thanks for watching.